fall you guys oh my goodness I can't believe it's officially fall now and today we have a lot happening in the kitchen we have a decent sized grapevine outside it's the Concord grapes and they are ready to go so the plan is to turn all of those into grape juice today as well as make some sourdough donuts I've never actually made these before but I thought they'd be so fun to do for fall so I hope those turn out and then also need to make some apple sauce so <laughs> I imagine between those three things the day will probably be taken up but I hope that you enjoy following along let me know in the comments below what you're most excited for this fall and let's get started. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember I've never made this recipe before. I'll have it linked in the description box below. I'm making some adjustments to try to make it a little bit more fall flavored. And also, it's been requested a number of times that I do a sourdough video, and it is in the works. I'll have the recipe below for this specific one, but if you would like to learn more about actually just getting into sourdough, that video is coming. So hang on tight, we're working on it. Turn the world around us into gold When the autumn leaves are playing chases Puts a smile up on my face They leave their branches one by one And whirl around there just for fun grapes and giving them a good rinse in this colander and then I'll put them in water just to make sure that any bugs that were in there get washed out. But I leave them on the stems like this and it's no problem. So really making grape juice is actually a pretty easy procedure. All along here are some of the grapes that we've picked so far. Josh and the little kids are actually out there picking more as we speak so we're not nearly done yet but it's a start and then over on the stove here is what we use to make the grape juice. So it's actually my mother-in-law's but the bottom here is filled with water and then this is empty space um, but you put the grapes in the top here and then the steam, I guess, pulls out the juice, which then goes into this part, and then and this is kind of makeshift, but you just squeeze this little clamp, and then you can pour it into your jars. This is fresh from the vine grape juice. Obviously, grape juice has a lot of health benefits as well. We don't add any sugar. Um, it's really good just as is like this um, has lots of flavor but in the winter time then I will usually every morning pour just a little bit I don't know maybe quarter cup into a cup for each of the kids as well as Josh and put some vitamin C powder in it and it's just a really nice 
immune boosting drink that we do then through the winter. With the amount of grapes that we have, I would say we have about eight vines. That lasts us exactly a year and we do also serve it to guests sometime it's a fun like special occasion drink we just finished our last jar from last year last week so it's lasted us perfectly and here's to our grape juice for next year the next day now yesterday kind of got away from me Abby was quite fussy in the afternoon I think she's teething and then I got a headache and we just kept doing grape juice we had oh goodness we canned over 10 gallons of grape juice so there ended up being a ton of it and took all day long so anyways today though I thought I'd take you along a little bit this morning yet as we do a couple more things this morning there's actually a chance of rain it's pretty cloudy out there so so I need to head out and pick some flowers for a wedding florist coming around noon. Normally I wouldn't have to be in a rush if they only come at noon, but because of the rain I only have like an hour, hour and a half left. So we're gonna go and do that first this morning.
So these are the flowers for the florist today. We have another one coming tomorrow, but she wanted a bunch of white and then we have obviously a lot of cafe elites. So those seem to go every single week. It is a different day, but I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about a couple things before I close out the video. I often wish I could actually like talk face to face and not just into the camera, but three things totally unrelated, but I wanted to chat with you guys. So first of all, my posting schedule I know has been a little bit here and there and I just wanted to address that because I know some of you are waiting on pins and needles apparently which is so sweet of you. So I was able to do two videos a week for a while when my sister was here. She was such a big help but now that she's gone again I do need to be more focused on the homeschooling and just all the work around the house so I'm not able to be consistent with two a week so I would say plan on Monday videos and I'm hoping I can surprise you here and there with a Thursday upload as well but plan on Mondays at least and if there's any changes for that week I will let you know over on my Instagram so follow me there if you aren't already if you want to stay in the loop. Second thing is you guys know I love supporting small shops and really just have a I don't know I guess a heart for small shops and owners and things like that. I know they've been through a lot the past especially two years but in general just to start a business off off of the ground is a big deal <laughs> and a lot of hard work. So cheers to you guys who are doing that right now. If you have a small shop, let me know in the comments below so that I can check you out. But I asked over on my Instagram a while back for recommendations for small shops and what you guys' favorite small shops were. And I got a bunch of recommendations and then I had so much fun just going through and supporting some of them, buying things from different ones. And one of them was Rachel Lynn Drew. Jewelry. You guys have seen that I've probably wore these earrings like constantly for the past month or month and a half But they are my favorite earrings right now I love how just dainty they are and feminine and still a little sparkly, but not like too overkill Anyways, they're so well made and she was kind enough to send me two more pairs of earrings First one is this beautiful beautiful piece. They are all so well made and just look at the sparkle in it It's so pretty. I think this would be beautiful even for a bride to wear or otherwise special occasions or sometimes I even like to wear a little bit more of a casual outfit and just dress it up with accessories or jewelry. So those are absolutely stunning and I will put the name of each one on the screen here so that you can find the exact one. I will also have these linked in my description box below so you can find them easily but the next set is these and I believe she said these are on back order right now so you might have to wait on those a little bit but again so so just dainty. I feel like all her pieces are so dainty and feminine and just the intricate detail is amazing. She also has necklaces and bracelets on her site so if you're into any of that sort of thing go show her some love. And then the third thing I wanted to talk with you about is Almost every video I get asked about where my music is from. The website I get my music from is Epidemic Sound, but specifically people want to know a lot of the worship songs that I have playing and those are also from Epidemic Sound, but the artists I always don't know offhand. So that's why I've been so bad at responding to those questions and DMs. But I went and checked it up for you guys so that you can find them. Specifically the thank you song that I have playing fairly often. I love that song. That one is from Joy Spring as well as Come and Be With Me, um, Anytime, Any Place. All those that you guys ask for, it's Joy Spring. So I hope that is helpful. Thank you so much for joining me here today. 
I hope your week is off to a wonderful start and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends.